Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson, I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. And in this demo, I thought I'd show you how to take a SharePoint list item and generate a PDF file uh, from a list item using File Convert and OneDrive. So on the screen you'll see here I've got a workflow, and in this workflow I have got it running on the selected item, so it allows me to manually run it. This could also trigger through a button or through um, when an item is created. The first step that I do is get the items. This is going out and getting my list item uh, from my list. So I specify the SharePoint site, the document number, uh, the document I, uh, the library, and the document ID. Um, and then what I do is I use this function here, where I'm basically generating, composing a an HTML file. So in here I've laid out some HTML. If I zoom this in a bit, you'll be able to see in more detail that I've just created an HTML, some basic HTML, a header. So it's a new document request. I've put a note in here to say that it's confidential with paragraph marks. And then I'm using dynamic content to bring in um, the display name of the author, the created date, and a few other fields that I'm going to have here from a SharePoint list. Below that, I have another couple of actions. Um, I have one here for create file. Um, this creates the file using the output from the HTML here. And it's using the file folder path of slash demo slash, which is my um, folder in my OneDrive. And then I'm, I've hard coded the file name in here. You could use a dynamically generated file name if you wanted, such as something maybe perhaps using the date, for example, or the ID value. Um, then I'm doing a convert to file. Um, again, I just pass it the file path, which is the output of this here, uh, and tell it what type of file I want to produce. I want to produce a PDF. You'll see if I look in here, I can generate a number of different file types, but PDF is the one I want in this case. Um, and then I do another another create file. This create file is using the output from the first create file, um, and this uh, from the sorry from the uh, PDF conversion, and it's generating a PDF file and using the file content from the PDF file output and sticking it in the same folder. If I pop over to SharePoint for a second, you'll see my, I've got a SharePoint list here. I've created a basic list. This list has a few features, such as a, um, a document owner person field, a required date, a drop-down list for manufacturing, and so on. But this could be any fields you like. Now, the workflow is set to run off the selected item. So I'm just going to show you quickly in my OneDrive, a blank OneDrive folder called Demo. And if I go over to here, right-click the file, and then choose Automate, Generate PDF, which is my workflow name. You'll see it pops up with the form here, allowing me to generate the PDF file. It's going to ask me to run it. Now I used an approval workflow for this, so I could actually use do some sort of approval process if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to in this case. I'm going to run the flow. And then what happens is over here on my OneDrive, in a second you'll see it automatically generate a file um, when the workflow runs. That file will end up in here. So the first thing it's going to do is generate the HTML file, and then it's going to generate a PDF report. So if I click onto the PDF file, you'll see my nicely formatted PDF pulling the information from my list item through. So I'm using the heading styles, I'm using an HR to generate a horizontal line. I've put some date formatting and stuff in here in the description text. Now I can also uh, format this a lot, uh, a lot nicer if I'm better at HTML, uh, but you'll get the idea that you can use this to generate a template, which you can then inject values from the SharePoint list item. So hopefully this demo is quite useful for you. Um, I've seen people use this for all sorts of things, such as receipts at the end of processes, um, uh, capturing information from a remuneration process, for example, uh, all sorts of other purposes um, for this. You could use some follow-on actions, such as copy this to a, um, uh, to a location in SharePoint or email it to somebody as an attachment. Uh, all sorts of things you can do. One thing to notice that the OneDrive um, that the flow runs uh, where the file is created is the OneDrive of, of the person who published the flow. So if you do have confidential information, just think about the permissions that you may need to have around that, um, or perhaps use a service account. Hopefully this has been interesting um, and in, uh, insightful. Uh, if you need to grab this, you can pop to my blog. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.